Pick it now on first down. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. But the numbers from a week ago for Pickens, well up over 100 yards, and one of those catches found his way into the end zone. I do think he'll be hard-pressed to duplicate those numbers this week, though, because he's gotten their attention, so they will double him on every snap at a minimum. In some cases, they'll triple him. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it. Left sideline, a dime, and it looks like he's got it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Touchdown! Pat Fryermuth. First and ten, it's Pickett. Flushed out right. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. You look at this Baltimore defense. They've been very good this year against the pass, currently holding on to a top 10 ranking at number 10. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. Get this one across the 45 before he's run down. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Warren. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. Second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, it's Warren, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. That is caught. He will have the first down and a bit more. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. They'll start this drive there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So in or even territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now a handoff up the middle. Warren, and great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
Now a second and ten. Looking to throw, pick it. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen, and the Ravens are going to... start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And this offense going to like to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the first half. Here's Pickett. Here's one deep for Pickens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Steeler offense now with a... They'll send Pickens in motion right here. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now run straight ahead with Warren. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Foot stealer touchdown. Jalen Warren with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Steelers are closing in on a 4 one They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. On second down now. It's Warren. And a short gain down to about the 33. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker. for him now to this point. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. 
Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Up the middle they go. It's Warren, and he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. At the Ravens, 16-yard line. Second and ten. Here's Pickett. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Pick it. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Pick it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mullins. And he will be out of 